Hi, this is a brief overview on the new Authentisign 2.0. I'm in Instanet, and I'm gonna go in and create a transaction with the Will House. And I'm gonna click on the plus to start and create my transaction. Give it a name. It takes you into a wizard. I'm gonna skip some of these steps for the demo. I am gonna skip this step. Step two is your transaction dates. Step three is contacts. And this is where you, you would add in your signers to make it easier. I'm gonna add a new contact. They are gonna be a seller. And the name is Joe Client. And we need their at, email address for the signing. This just makes it easier if you put it into the contact part, then have to put it in with the signer part. But if you're doing it a different way, that's fine. I'm gonna click next. Now forms are your MLS forms. I'm gonna add one form and one document. I'm gonna click on the plus, one key MLS, and we are gonna add the agency disclosure. Now the next step, this is where you add documents and documents are things that are uploaded from other areas like your computer or your emails and things like that. So I am going to add for the demonstration, my COVID disclosure it's on my desktop. That is not fillable. So we have to do something extra special for that one. We are done with the wizard. So then you would fill out your forms. I am going to just go right into the signing and I'm gonna use the right side where it says wizard and go down to signings. Create your signing by pressing the plus. We're using the new authentic sign and we give that a name, test signing. When you go into the new signing, it looks completely different than the classic version. That was the original version. However, this is very simple. And what you wanna do is you wanna use these blocks on the right, that's a signers, docs, and tools. And I'm working right from my transaction. So we're gonna click on add participant and we should do that first. And we can add new or add from transaction. In this case, I'm adding from my transaction. Here's Joe Client that I just created. He is a seller. I can add another one and type them in. If I wanted to add uh, a new client, just type them in with their email. You could do that. The next step is we're gonna go to documents and we're gonna pull in our document or form. And I have one of each. So here they both are. Really simple, comes in from the transaction, my agency disclosure, and my NYSAR COVID disclosure. When you get your forms in here, if you have a listing packet, you can drag these and put them in the order in which you want them to sign. Or you can change the numbers here. You can do that. Uh, we're looking good. You'll see both your forms here, agency disclosure and the COVID disclosure. Now the agency disclosure will automatically have a signing block and the date because I added them in as a signer, as a seller. So if we click on tools, this is where you drag in just like the classic version, your signing blocks, your initial blocks, things like that. But they've added in the signer field and the markup. So it's all in one place called tools. So when we go down to the, the document, which is the COVID form in this case, we have a few things we do. We want to drag the signing block, which automatically puts the date in now. And to print the name, you have the signer fields. Full name, we did have that in classic. Um, email is an additional. If you wanted to put the email in, you can do that now. I'm gonna delete that. Down here, I need to print my name. So in that case, we need the text box, which is a little further down in tools. It's not a drag, it's a click and it's a click. 
And then you just type in, allows you to type on these documents or if you needed to add something to a contract. You also can, while you're in this, it, it automatically took me to this text markup where I can put something in bold if I want or change the font. Now this line, I need to type in the company. So I also, I need to put a text box in and then click. And I'll just type in my board. And I want that bold too, because it's kind of light. So there you go. So you, you can always go back to your tools and check if you need to drag out a little initials for something or anything else. And anytime you do that, you can just press delete if you need to remove it. One advantage for, over the classic version is that you can now go back and save this and easily come back in to your signing. Um, it will be called a draft, but then you can come in here and complete the signing process. So that is a nice uh, feature that they've added. Now we're gonna press the next button. This is where you're putting in your the expiration date for, for the email or the reminders. You can customize your invites here, and then we press send. And that's the conclusion of Authentisign 2.0. If you need any extra help, you can go into the Strata Support Center. There's a webinar in there or take one of our InstaNet classes.